start this match in three, two, one, go. Starting our autonomous off for our third to final match on this field. We've got these robots running their autonomous as best they can. Unfortunately, it does look like 12599 overcharge is yes, no, they've managed to take it back and secure some multiple junction scores and a successful park. Red Alliance also attempting to get some scoring and it does look like 12560 is successfully scoring. That is, of course, soft orders. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And we're zooming into our control period with four good parks on the board. It is a lead for the Red Alliance, as clearly stated by the quantity of sheer quantity of cones scored in the driver control period. And now we've got these teams, though, sheer number of cones scored in the autonomous period. And now we've got the driver control period underway with these robots making their best effort. But it does look like we got a little bit of a, oh, a little bit of a, you go first, no, you go first section. The medium junction, which was quickly resolved by softwares instead of going for the high junction and claiming it for themselves. But of course, the blue alliance is gonna let that stand. Vision going back in, getting ready to score for that junction. But the important thing here is, though it may be good to have precedence over how long, how like who owns what junction. What is more important is being able to, be, to cycle through your cones as quickly as possible. Sure, you can own a junction, but you know what's more important than owning a junction? Getting as many of those cones as possible onto those junctions. Because each one of those high junctions, five points. Each one of those medium junctions, four points. Owning a junction uh, with a cone, only six points. And that can be easily be taken up if you have two cones on a junction. So that's why these teams are pushing so hard to get as many of the cones as possible on the high junctions with 40 seconds left in the match. It does look like it's closed, it's tightened up a bit with Red Alliance only having a 10 point lead over the Blue Alliance, which does mean as we get to the end game here, it is vital that these beacons get deployed onto the, onto the right areas. We've got a blue cap on the high junction. Red Alliance brainstems trying to position and land properly. Yes, they succeed. Oh, looks like the beacon for the Blue Alliance Skyfish and tossed it off. It's gone flying and blowing around. And also same on the Red Alliance for one of their beacons. Looks like we're only going to have one cap per team, thus evening it out. A very close match here. Let's see if they can get some parks at the end. Yes, we looks like we got at least one park from each alliance. We're going to have to see if that other alliance got their park in time. 